Hi there, Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, I am doing this reading at the moment of the new moon in Gemini, so it has that mixed bag of messages from this new moon all at the same time. So it's not only going to be for the month of May, but it can carry over for the next month all at the same time so you might feel that the energy of this reading can be something that you have probably been experiencing for for um the beginning of may mid of may that kind of thing it really depends now if you are not tuning into this reading please do know that the reading is very general and not for everyone all at the same time because we do have a lot of Sagittarius all around the world. So just keep that in mind. Again, this works for those Sagittarius with their sun, moon, and rising sign. So um, for Sagittarius, uh, let's see what's going on for you guys um, throughout all of this energy. Okay. So it would seem as if um, I kind of feel that Sagittarius is handling a lot of messages, a lot of communication um, at this time, especially during the mid month of May onwards. We do have the Temperance card and the Knight of Swords all together as the starting point of this reading. And um, along with this, you know, six of clover with the symbol of the lightning. So this might come off as um, a sudden burst of insight or a situation where, you know, there are just a lot of things, a lot of downloads coming into your mind right now. It could be a literal message that is coming in for you. A lot of communication that are coming in as a possibility or it could also be that you know um, you're talking to uh, maybe more than one person of the opposite sex all at the same time that is also a possibility and you know there is a bit of energy of overwhelmment all at the same time it's not necessarily bad in fact i kind of feel that you know this is a lot of social events or social um, interaction that is happening right now whether it comes in in a very literal form or um, just through the internet and all of that it might feel as if a lot of things is happening to you all at the same time and yeah a lot of communication overseas is also happening i also feel that you know this can also be a situation that can be happening to you in a very internal level wherein there are just a lot of things that you're thinking you're feeling deep within your heart or it could be that your goals your desires in life you are really thinking about them and processing them on how to really manifest them into reality we are being shown here that in your past you have this five of cups along with the um jack of diamonds with the um this is like the lover card if i'm correct yeah is the writer that brings good news um that form of energy so i would assume that this could be you thinking about your disappointment with a past relationship because this is a love reading this is a love reading and with the five of cups this is about you thinking over spilled milk what is it what did not satisfy you what did not work out that you wanted to work out you know you had hopes for things to really progress but the effects of that was not really um how you intended for things to be this can just be you know um some form of dissatisfaction when it comes to your love life or your partner that kind of thing is also possible right now i kind of feel that you know you're not really at the point wherein 
you are very balanced. I kind of feel that everything about you is too much. We're in the big lesson here is for you to go back to your roots, to ground yourself, and make sure that you're actually thinking before deciding anything, thinking before taking action and doing something very reckless because you do have the tendency to act in a very reckless manner we do have here you know jupiter in the sign of pisces in your ninth house so and if you will take a look on this on you know astrologically on what's happening in the skies at this time we have the mars right now in the sign of pisces and then um, we have the Neptune and also in Pisces, Jupiter also in retrograde, that kind of thing. So if we, you know, combine all the energies that are happening in the skies through this reading and through the activation of the planets and signs that are in my astrodices, this can really tell us that, you know, um, the Jupiterian, the Martian and Pisces energy is coming in very strongly. So, you know, you might be acting upon your feeling, your impulse, uh, based on what you want. At the same time, once you are very positive and progressive with life, you tend to think only that and not see the other tiny details, which can be very detrimental to you. So that is really, you know, the energy here. I also kind of feel that this can really manifest in a way we're in, you know, it's like being over being overwhelmed by the crowd being overwhelmed by a lot of people or being influenced by by something or someone which can you know create some form of disturbance into your life so there is something that you, this is something that you really need to be careful of especially if you are coming to a point of dissatisfaction just like this reading because what will happen here is that maybe you are going to you know offer some form of communication we do have the letter card here and the ten of um pentacles so there could be some form of miscommunication coming in very strongly wherein you are demanding something or you know based upon your own ideas based upon on what you feel and the other person might find this a very manip manipulative kind of action well not necessarily going to be this kind of setup but you know the energy that and the things that i'm saying here is somehow going to be similar one way or another wherein you there is going to be some form of communication a lot of it a lot of messages and downloads coming into you and you might just take action based upon that you know very very fast just like lightning fast and that could create some form of strain in the relationship at the same time it feels as if it's that you know you are in a crossroad in terms of a relationship and the two of you meet together and you know it's like you know the two of you are staring at each other and like thinking who is going to take the next step if i do something different will that person still be around staring back at me that kind of thing um so it's like something is breaking free from that strain is what i'm picking up so there is a chance that you know um some form of union can break the ice and breaking the ice can be both positive and liberating but at the same time for other people this can also turn things for the worse wherein the balance is being shaken off and cut off we do have a lot of um, energies here that can signify some form of sudden collapse of something you know i'm not really seeing a breakup or anything like that so i'm not going to go far as to say that this is going to involve a breaking up but um, there could be some anger issues that can come up in, in the way you and the other person is communicating. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of passion in place, a lot of feelings and emotions, and a lot of sharp words can occur at this time. So, um, and 
With lack of control, with this, you might end up with this hangman and the Eight of Swords, making you feel uncertain if you did the right thing or not based upon your own decisions. This can also mean that, you know, after so much of the things that are happening, this is going to lead you to be introspective and really reflect if you're doing things the right way or not, or really reflect if it's time for you to move on from the relationship because it's becoming um, toxic or it's becoming, it's not making you happy anymore, basically. It has that form of idea. Or maybe uh, longing for more, for happiness, for more social gatherings. Or maybe you're suddenly into the situation wherein you wanted to date around, meet new people here and there. That energy is coming in very strongly. And, you know, basically we're seeing here that maybe you need to make a drastic decision, a very hard decision in place. Especially we have, uh, you know, we have the king of spade over here and the queen of spade over here. So it gives me the idea that, you know, um, this there is something quite difficult in terms of a relationship. And the spades are really the very strict one, you know. They have emotions, but most of the time it leads to some form of anger or logic or you know something that is very very straining this is a wonderful thing if you need a push in taking action that you have been hesitating you know sometimes we do hesitate on things um, prolonging things maybe because we are afraid of the changes that might occur in the future but this is going to help us you know to figure out what we really want in life you know to figure out the true colors of someone and if that makes us reflect whether um, that person should be in our life or not anymore then um, it is just something that you will have to face and deal with and you need to be thankful that you know um, you're finding it you're finding the true color of someone here and now rather than later uh, that kind of thing also we if you take a look in our Lenormand energy we do have the ring here and the tower the lilies leather and the scythe so we have here the ring and the scythe all together so this could be um maybe a sudden relationship or a sudden breaking of a relationship breaking of a contract or um i don't know uh reconstructing of a commitment based upon some form of circumstances especially if everything has been very monotonous in terms of your relationship which is being shown here that there is like great stability in a certain situation but some form of message that uh, is very sharp like very sudden can put the relationship at risk so there is that form of energy showing up here for a lot of Sagittarius people. So the best advice I can really give for you guys um, is to, to control some form of anger management issue, control your own emotions, and be more at peace, you know. Take the high road and be the mature one in the situation, you know. You don't have to always give in to your... Um, feelings and emotion sometimes all you need to do is to calm down all you need to do is to take it take some time off and then later maybe you will be able to handle the situation much more carefully with um in a very very calm manner i would say that kind of situation like i said it is giving us an idea here that we need to you know um to reflect and turn inwards before we make any decisions you know i know you want things to move forward to progress and to advance but sometimes you know taking things inwardly and focusing on yourself focusing on meditation and you know 
when you do things for yourself and not for other people, you come to realize and see a whole new set of picture that maybe you have not seen before, especially in terms of your love life and relationships. So um, yeah, again, I would repeat that this is a time for you to learn some major lesson in your life and in your relationship. This is not a time for you to be very impulsive, even though there is a possibility of impulse leaking out here and there. I would say be careful with how you communicate with people. Be careful how much you lash out on people. You know, make sure that you're taking a look on things in a very clear perspective so that you're not misunderstanding anything anyone or the situation at hand so again it takes two to tango you cannot just you know go all out by yourself and whatever the satisfaction that you have in the past i kind of feel that that will have some form of um conclusion as you end the cycle due to some form of sudden information, sudden ideas that will be coming to you as we go over the month of May onward. So um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Sagittarius. I do hope that this has given you insight and clarity to your situation. And yeah, it's time for you to overcome a big struggle in your life, especially a struggle that has been lingering for you for quite some time now. So um, yeah, if you'd like a more personal reading with me, just book a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com and I shall see you guys again next month.